Hey you guys, this is Angel View 18. Today when I went to heaven, I ended up in the throne room. And I traveled by the speed of thought next to these stairs. Now these stairs go up to where God's throne is and what where Jesus' throne is and where the Holy Spirit hangs around as himself. Sometimes he appears as a ball of light or um the form of a of a figure like Jesus in God. But I go these stairs, these beautiful white stairs, and around these stairs is this mist. It isn't necessarily mist. It's, you know, God's light and glory and the Holy Spirit, but it sort of looks like mist, but not really at the same time. So it's really bright. And I knock on this door. Sometimes I don't have to, but sometimes God tells me I have to knock on the door. So I knock on this white door, like two times, and God says, come in, darling. Or sometimes I just go right through, and I come in, and when I open the door, like, the first thing I always see is just white. It's just white flashes, and um, God is just so powerful, you guys. He's just so powerful and miraculous. I'm, like, it's just white everywhere. It's... This white is not like the white we see on earth. The whitest thing I know of is like construction paper white. Compared to the white that's in heaven, that's the construction paper looks black. Just beautiful white. And whenever I enter this room in my spirit in heaven, my my physical body shakes or jerks um, just really crazily. And then I'm like, whoa, this, whoa. And... <laughs> Um, God strengthens me. Sometimes I have to ask him to strengthen me, but he strengthens me. So when he strengthens me, somehow, I'm able to see clearly, um, what's there. And then I see God sitting on his throne. I don't see God. I see what God is wearing. I don't see his face. The only thing I see is his eyes. Which look, it, his eyes look like he can pierce through the soul his eyes are sharper than a needle his eyes are red it's fire exactly how the bible describes it just red with fire and and like just it's just a blazing fire it's so gorgeous and it's so loving and his eyes are so amazing and like sometimes i just find myself staring at his eyes and i'd be like wow but he just smiled and he's like give me a hug and like i go on his laugh and I give him a hug and it's just so wonderful like you, you can just feel like the most amazing and serene love but you know I was just sitting there talking to him and this is Angel that comes knocking on the door and he says excuse me and I'm like sure I got up he got up he actually turned the doorknob that was on the left and the angel went through the went came by I mean came in <laughs> the angel came in and this angel was very skinny it was a really small angel it was so powerful wow this angel was named Royal and Royal had really long gold hair and it looked mixed like it was black and white and she was just beautiful she was wearing like a really standard robe and no shoes, no sandals, just standing on the glories of God. And Royal was um, a really powerful angel, like a cherubim. And I could tell that Royal and God was like really close. And they were really great. And you don't understand that when I talk to God, I don't talk to him using words. In heaven, I don't use words. When I talk to angels, I don't really use words either. We use, we communicate with the heart. We communicate with senses and not feelings. I'm not going to say that. It's uh, it's difficult to say. Like, people usually um, think of it as telekinesis or something, but it's not. Or some kind of psych psychic thing. Like, no, it's... I don't know, in heaven you don't communicate with words, you communicate with senses. 
because see you and the father are one and then everything else God makes he sustains and so technically in a way they're one with him too and then so you kind of communicate with through the Holy Spirit by the Holy Spirit for the Holy Spirit so I knew this angel name was royal without them without asking her because God gave me that impartation so I was like hi royal and I was you know I was just like jumping around and just being all crazy because <laughs> I was like really happy and royal nodded his head um and that in heaven is shine is, is a sign of respect and um next to Jesus God's throne and God's throne is like an apple stand and I took one of the apples and I gave it to Royal. Royal took the apple and he walked out he walked out of the of the podium and down the stairs and he handed the apple to another angel and that angel handed the apple to another angel and that <laughs> the angel handed the apple to another one. And um, within a frame of a minute, the apple was <laughs> handed down to one of the worship angels. I gave one of the worship angels that usually worship God. And the, <laughs> the worship angel named Kyla, she um, she came and gave it to another worship angel. And the, another angel gave it to um, our light, which is like the top rank angel. Um, and Alaya came to the throne room and she gave the apple to the father. The father said, thank you. Then the father turned around and put the apple back in the bowl. And he was walking over toward me and I was holding his hands. And, um, yeah, I was holding his hands looking at him because he was so adorable and beautiful. And I love him so much. And then <laughs> Royal came over and she um, held my hand and his hand. And we were all three standing around in a circle. From there, God imparted information to me. He was trying to show me that he does not respond by what I say to him, but the content of my heart. I gave the apple to Royal. Because I knew who she was, what kind of angel she was, and I was amazed at her. How strong and powerful she is, and how she's the overseer of many angels. So, a lot of angels are in her hand. But then, God was showing me how I can be impressed with Royal, but in which hand does she rest? which is God's hand. And as I was standing there, hand to hand with Royal and God, like I could see how small we were, even the angel, how small Royal was compared to this massive, large God. So God was betraying to me that he wants me to honor and worship and love him alone. Praise God. I hope that will help you somehow. God bless you. Bye.